What's up, Michael here with Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create image aspect ratios inside of Webflow so that no matter how large or how small your browser window is resized, your images will maintain a perfect aspect ratio. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. So I'm quickly gonna demonstrate how these aspect ratio works. So I'm going to preview this and I'm going to resize the browser. And you can see as I resize the browser window, these images maintain a perfect aspect ratio no matter the size of the window. You can see we have various aspect ratios. We have a one by one aspect ratio and then we have all the way down to a 16 by nine aspect ratio and it doesn't matter how large or small the window is resized and they maintain their aspect ratio perfectly. Okay, so I quickly hit those examples. Let's start building these um, image aspect ratios. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to wrap your images inside of a container that has a width um, associated with it. So I'm going to just wrap these images inside of a container. So I already have a div with the class container applied, but you can make this whatever you want. The purpose of this is that we have a max width set of 45 REMs. This could be whatever you want. It could be 300 pixels. It could be 1500 pixels. It's just important that we have a max width set. Now, once that is done, we can actually start setting up the images. So for every image that you want to add an aspect ratio to, it's really simple. You just need to have a div and an image. You need to have an image frame and the image. So the div is gonna act as the image frame. We are within this container, we are going to drop in a div and then we're just gonna call this image frame. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm just gonna call it image frame. And then within this div, we're gonna drop in an image and we're just gonna call this image. I already have the class image from one of the examples that I showed you earlier. So I'm just gonna do image one. And then from here, we are going to start setting some styles. But first, this is how your hierarchy should look like in the navigator. You should have your container, you should then have your image frame, and then you should have your image. Once that's set, we can start uh, adding these styles. So for the image frame, we're going to do a width of 100%. We are going to set the position to relative. And then for the image, we are going to set the position to absolute. We are gonna set the position to full, and then we're gonna do a width of 100%, and then a height of a 100%. Now you can see that the image has disappeared because we have set it to absolute and we set the height to 100%, but there is no height associated with it. This is where we can start adding the image aspect ratios. So with your image frame selected, what you're gonna to wanna to do is start adding uh, top padding in percentages. So if you want to have a one by one image aspect ratio, so that is a square aspect ratio, you're going to want to add 100% padding to the top. And you can see now we have a square image. Now I'm gonna just quickly set an image so we can see what we're working with here. And you can see this image is a little bit squashed. That's because we forgot to set a style really quick. So with your image selected, you want to set the fit to cover. And now the image will cover the entire uh, image frame without looking squashed or anything like that. Uh, here is a quick diagram to kind of show you different aspect ratios and the padding. So we just did a one by one aspect ratio. So that is padding top 100%. If you want to do like a four by three aspect ratio, you would add 75% padding to the top. Uh, for a three by two aspect ratio, you would add 66.67% padding to the top. And then for a 16 by nine aspect ratio, you would add 56.25% padding to the top. So you can just, just take a screenshot of this if you like, but uh, let's make a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So we'll just take this 56.25. We'll select our image frame and we will add 56.25% padding to the top, and there you go. If we were to resize this window, this will maintain the aspect ratio perfectly. What is also really cool about this method, since our image is also sitting inside of a frame, we can also do really cool things with this image. We can 
set the overflow to hidden, and then we can add some border radius to the image. If you ever wanted to get fancy and do interactions where if you hover over the image, then the image will zoom in. It's already perfectly set up for that since you have to have an image frame for that to start that interaction. So that is a quick tutorial how to add image aspect ratios in Webflow. Drop in the comments if you have any questions. Also, if you are looking for some Webflow support or Webflow help, we do offer unlimited Webflow design and development subscriptions at a flat monthly rate. And there will be a special offer for you, specifically the viewer. We don't put this on the website or anything, but you can find a link to that in the description below.